so what's going to happen if we do go up there? You're not going to take the recording devices up to the second floor, third floor. Hi. We're going to have to hand the metal stuff to you through here. Yes, okay. How can I help you? Oh, I don't need any help. I just need to get through here. For what, sir? I'm just going to check out the publicly accessible areas. Okay, sir, before we start this, you're allowed to record on the first floors, but the second and third floors is off limits. What's up there? Courts. Courts. Yes. You've okay. got a videotape on the second or third floor. Okay. Are they in session? One is. One yes. is. Okay, what well, one is that? The uh, Superior Court. Is that on the third one? The third floor? No, that's on the second floor. Okay. Second. All right. Yeah, would you take them off and separate back there, please? You count one more time? Yeah, that's what that is. Thank you very much. The entrance to that office is through here. What's this here? The entrance, that is a storage room. The entrance for it is right here. Okay. We got some more court going on on the third floor today. I honestly don't know. Looks like there is. Yeah, there is. Uh, looks like circuit court has okay. court going on today. Yeah. So. Yeah. Typical. No, thank you. I'm just going to check out the, the office here today. You guys doing all right in here? Yeah, how are you? No, I'm doing fantastic. Warm out there. <laughs> it's been warmed up out there no, for a while it's been now. Gorgeous. Today? This morning it was 60 oh. degrees outside. Well, I didn't. From the Antarctica? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anything above 70 is I hot. I grew up in Texas, so this is not. Ah, I see. I see. Is like 20, 20 degrees below normal today, huh? Compared to Texas. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's in the 90s in Texas already. Yeah. Has been. And the thing is, is that at 95, if it's 95, and then you wake up at 7 a.m., and it's still 95 degrees. Jeez, oh. Yeah. That sounds miserable. Yeah. Nothing is certain but death and taxes. Gosh, I hope that's not true. <laughs> I hate taxes. You too. I'm afraid to play myself on that thing. There's a way thing? Ooh. Is there? Alright, but let's see. Where am I going to weigh in at? I weigh zero pounds. I think there's something up with this, man. I think you've got to insert a penny. <laughs> In order for it to work. I see. Okay. Supposedly it still does work. But I got you. Put the penny in to try. I got you. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to see what it's going to show up. Right? Yeah. I mean, I I don't have the desire to see. Right. Really. Oh, guys, yeah. it's free pennies. No. Hey, I can't turn that down, man. Ty, do you want to try it? <laughs> Just get to see. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna go check it out real quick. You gotta check it out. Pretty much still by the way in here, I'm overweight. Oh, so. oh my gosh. Is it working? It says 220. This thing must weigh like 20 pounds. Because, man, <laughs> I'll tell you. That's right, you're right, yeah. Because it was over on this end of the building, and then after the painting, they moved it over there. So okay. Well, I hope it's not calibrated then. No, that's why I don't want to step on it. Yeah. Hello. 
Hi. I don't need any help today, thank you. I'm just okay. checking out the building. We got a waffle maker. Is that what that is? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, yeah. maker. Okay, I got you. Is there any? No. Man, y'all really keep your doors secured. More than willing to answer any questions for you. More than willing to do. <laughs> you know why this county was named after Jefferson? That I can't answer, but I have yeah. lived here my whole life. Yeah, I don't know why so, either. I kind of, I'd like to hear it if somebody didn't know. Well, the Jefferson County Historical, that door is monitored. Yeah, I it's saw that. It will go off. The Jefferson County Historical Society, which is located, you know where the Lanier Mansion is? No. Okay, if you drive on drive and the orange house, you'll okay. see it. And once you go past it and you make a right, and the Jefferson County Historical Society is right there. And they might be and able to tell me something. Probably is, that a is that a county like that's a, building? That's the Jefferson County. Yeah, it's county, funded by the county, okay. and it's about just about any historical. Do you know of a cost to enter? It's free. Awesome. That's great, oh, man. But where are you going? I'm just going up the stairs, man. I assume there's you doors. You can't go upstairs with the cameras. I can't go in inside those doors with them. You can't go upstairs. That's very well as far as the second floor. Well, and that's the thing, man, is I know that I know that he probably heard that from somebody or whatever, but the it's rule coming, is... It's coming from the judge. Yeah. Okay. And the judge has a responsibility to stop people from having recording devices of any kind in the courtroom or in the areas immediately adjacent to the courtroom, which would be the second floor. floor. So as long as there's a door between this area and the area immediately adjacent to the courtroom, we're good to go up there. No, you're not. You cannot go to the second floor. And I'll tell you what my judge just said. If you'd like to speak to him, you can, I'll give you phone numbers. Well, they're in the building, aren't they? They're in court, though. The third one is? The third floor is this one? Third. Okay. All right, so what's going to happen if we do go up there? You're not going to take the recording devices up to the second floor, third floor. And what's going to happen if we walk up these stairs with the recording devices? I'm going to take them and give them to the judge because you're on the second or third floor. Okay. So All right. I'm following my directives from the judges. Is one of these guys the judges here? No. Okay. All right, so the judge has instructed you that if I go into an area of my if public you like building. To read the order more than willing to let you read the order. All right, yeah. Post it at the front entrance. Okay. That you can enter. Yeah, no, no, I read the order. It said in the courtrooms no, or no, the court you offices. You didn't read the current order. The oh. current order, you walk through the mail check. The current order is on that same front screen off to the side. Okay. You're more than willing. You know, you can give me a copy of it. Yeah, I'd like a copy of it. That's not a problem. I can do that. Yeah, so, I'd like that. So he's ordered you to steal my property if I go. I never said steal. You said steal. Okay, could I confiscate your phone, please? I'll just look, man. I gotta confiscate your phone and give it to him. It's his order. So could I just do that for you, or would that be theft? We're not gonna stand here and argue. That. Right? No, I get it. Cause the right, man, logic's you ridiculous. Have to read the order for me. Okay, but if the order doesn't say anything about the staircase then i'm going to go up the stairs because this isn't the floors this is the staircase to it and then there's a it's door the the there's floor. a door and the the area immediately adjacent to the courtroom is not this area here there's a door it's in between the second floor. yeah no it's not flying with me so i'll read the order but if i don't if i don't agree with it then you know you can steal my property and we can get some litigation filed and all that stuff so you can figure that out Where is this order that I hear of? 
If you come right here front, sir. Right next to no food or drink. You want those three things, please. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. So, but not like an area that's adjacent to it. Adjacent means directly outside of. Right. The staircase isn't that. But yeah. anywhere there's a courtroom that's on that floor. That doesn't. That's your your people are making up the word. They're making up their own definition for the word adjacent. I just read it, man. It said exactly what I said. The courtroom or the area is immediately adjacent to the courtroom. But I just made a phone call, and you're right about that. Thank you. Okay, so, great. Awesome. So you can go. But I cannot door. go to the areas that are immediately adjacent, which is outside the courthouse. Room. To the door. Exactly. To the door. Yep, exactly. So we're not going to get our property stolen if we go up here, is what they say. Get, uh, we'll get you your workout in today. <laughs> well, sure. I actually have all these steps more there than you. I do the elevator. Well, good. That so, is quite unusual. Elevator. See, I'm breathing too, just like you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I was booking it up there, but that's fine. We like Here. to... Oh, hell. You got your card? Let me go get you a different one. Okay. I've got... I don't mind handing my card out to people. Yeah. But it has my voicemail and a few others. Okay. Scribbled up, but it's in my car. But I got leaves, you. I'll give you. Yeah, that's fine, more man. We're, we got to head that way anyways to get back to our more, car. More than willing. Awesome. Give you one. Great. So, what was your name, man? Corporal John Chainstein. All right, man. Yeah, Craig. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right. Let's start the fast track down. It's easier going down. Than yeah. Going up. It, there's a lot of technique involved in getting this, you know, going fast, though. I should have just smacked it. <laughs> you should have. But see, you got to remember, we deal with public every day, and we recognize the door. So we Yeah. Have, and people argue. Did court. you recognize the door when I went up to the third floor? I hear all the doors. <laughs> I hear them all. Yeah, you want to go out the front? You want to go out which Oh, way? yeah, your car is out here? My car is parked right there. So we yeah. can go out this door where let's the handicap is, there. or we can go out this yeah, door. Let's just go out here. one you want. If you guys are done. Yeah, we're done. You're man. done. I okay. got it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. That's my that, card. Man. That is all current information. That's our fax number. Okay. That goes to dispatch. All right. The whole nine yards. Awesome, man. You have a good day. You gentlemen. as well. Thank you. sir hey can i excuse me can i get you to roll your window down for me please you ain't getting nowhere man these cars are blocking your way sir you see this guy 
What are you doing? Is he holding you against your will? Damn. Sir. Hey, excuse me. But bud. <laughs> He just hit that curb there. Yeah, I think he is. Hey, bud. Hey, man, you got your ID on you for me today? My ID? Yeah. You don't know. Oh, I just noticed that you hit the curb, man. So, as, you know, you, it's a Which telltale curb? sign. Which curb? This, this one right here. Yeah, this is a parking spot. That is a parking spot. Yes, sir, we park right there as well. On the, the curb? Yes, sir, we do. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, man, I, and I maybe that is normal. I'm just I'm not from around here, so. I completely understand. Yeah, if, we actually park right here, right here. Yeah. Um, okay. We just don't have enough parking here. That's why we're moving uptown. Okay. Uh, do do you got that ID on you for me today, though, just so I know who I'm dealing with, man? Uh, my name is Deputy Daniel. It's right there. I get you, dude. We run into that all the time, man. People they like to, you know, because it can it can be written on a shirt, you know, but. My ID could say something totally different, you know what I mean? Good, absolutely, yeah. So I was just wondering, could I get that just so I can verify? This is actually an official ID, sir. I don't need to give you my ID. Man, look, I get it, man. Look, I run into people like this. They're mm -hmm. uncooperative a lot. I'll tell you what, there's my sheriff's department ID right there. There we go. Thank you. All, All right. right. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, man. All right, well, look, I just, for the, for the you know, integrity of your vehicle's wheels and all that, I'd advise you not to go up onto that curb anymore that like might I said, it's a parking spot so I, yeah it's they, they, inevitable not to go up on the curb i get what you're saying man but let's i just say just be a little care more careful next time and that way your car is going to last you longer you won't get very many flats like that so but all right man it's good talking to you today you're free to go brother appreciate having a talk with you all righty you too yep How's it going? How you guys doing? I'm doing good. They got the Pepsi and chips and shit just in case the inmates get hungry while they're coming in. Hey man, sorry I took you to jail, but here's a snack. The new Freedom Rhyme shirt is available now on Spring. Be sure to get yours now. Also, consider becoming a member of our channel for perks like members badges, emojis, members only live chats, and an early access video every week. Do that by pressing the join button below. All merchandise can be found at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.